the heart, man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Salvation can only be wrought. The entrance into God's heaven can only be mastered by the finished work of Jesus Christ. It is not something that we can do. There is no achievement on what man can reach to God because the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There are none good that doeth good. No, not one. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And Satan has been brilliant to give us religion. Satan has been giving man knowledge, but not of the holy. Satan's given us education. But Jesus said, I am the way. And it's not your membership. It's not how good you are, for the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. There is none righteous. There are all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So if you are the sinner of the Bible, you're not able to do good. And you are unrighteous. And God is holy. And that holy God says, be ye holy. But you're not. And there's one mediator between God and man, and that's the man Christ Jesus. The gospel is that God says, go in all the world and preach is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the finished work that God approved. There is no other name given amongst men under heaven whereby you must be saved and in that name of the Lord Jesus Christ is salvation is satisfaction by God and approved by God to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved What is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? God's not going to take money. God's not going to take good works. Because you're not good enough. When the Bible says in Romans, there is none that doeth good. No, not one. And it's interesting by that scripture today. It's like, none that doeth good, and you'll think, oh, me. No, not one. You're not good enough to get to heaven. And what will you give to God? What are you able to give to God to put you into heaven? You have nothing to offer. For the Bible said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It says the wages of sin is death. The reason why you're going to die one day is because you are a sinner. Sinners cannot appear before a holy God, for God said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if you're not good enough, and Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's no other way to get to the Father but by Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Salvation by God is never meant to be hard. Man does that. Satan does that. Satan would have you jump through hoops 
Satan would say, hey, you got to do this, you got to do that. And yet God the Father said, my son has done it for you. The Bible says, you may say, well, why are you out here aggravating us? And the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. And in transgressions, you're not going to stand before a holy God. And yet the gospel that God has commanded for those that are saved to preach is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. If a man believe with his heart and confess with his mouth the Lord Jesus and believe that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It's amazing. And I know you people here today, you've got your favorite name of your driver whoever he may be or she. And yet the Bible says there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that name is the name of Jesus Christ. That is God manifest in his flesh when Thomas said, my Lord, my God, addressing Jesus Christ. You're not going to get to heaven by good intentions, for there is none that doeth good, according to the Scripture. You're not good enough. You are wicked, you are vile, and that's called sin. Sin is a verb. Sinners is a noun, and that's what we do. And since there is none good, you can't get into the presence of a holy, righteous God. You need an advocate. You need a mediator. And I'm here to tell you that mediator, that advocate, is not Mary. She herself, according to the scriptures in the Gospel of Luke, was a sinner. She's unable. A pope, a preacher, water, is unable to save your soul. But by the precious blood of Jesus, a lamb without spot, the lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And you can put your faith and that trust in Jesus Christ today and have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And the downplay, and really, it's a wonderful book in the Bible, but it's like reservations. If you are staying at a hotel or motel here in Daytona, they will check your name to make sure that you have reservations for their place. And if your name is in their computer, if it's on their, their paper, whatever it be, you will be allowed to stay in that motel or that hotel. And you must, in order to get into heaven, you must have your name on the, on the reservation list. And that reservation list is called the Lamb's Book of Life. It is the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. And have your name put in that list is to put your faith and trust in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then when you die in Christ, you will die. And you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's a certain excitement with stock car racing. It's when you come to that checkered flag, the final time, final lap has been met, and you cross that line. And yet, in a person's life with their soul, they can cross that checkered flag called death. The wages of sin is death. And yet, crossing that checkered flag, you still can crash and burn. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So the fact is, without Jesus Christ, John the Baptist said, He that has not the Son, shall not see life, 
but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And you can run 500 laps of your life and die without Jesus Christ. And John the Baptist said, that's not life at all. And when you cross the finish line of death, for the wages of sin is death. And you do it without Jesus Christ. That final lap is a crash and burn into hell. But the Bible says the man died and was buried and woke up in hell. The Bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. God does not want to throw people into hell. It is your choice. And your choice to go into hell is by rejecting the preaching of Jesus Christ. God is long-suffering. God is not willing that any should perish. He will call upon anybody that will step out and say, I want to believe on the Son. I want to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, it's not a religion. Because Jesus said, I am the way. And Paul warns us in Corinthians that there's another Jesus. There are plenty of Jesus out there, but they're not going to get you to heaven. They'll drive you to hell in that final lap and crash and burn where there will be no victory without the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. We're not saved naturally. We are born in the sin of our great-great-great-grandfather, Adam. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And because we are sinners, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Now there is thousands, not million ways to die. But the number one reason of, of death is because we've sinned. And we've sinned against a holy and righteous God. And if we were to say, oh, I'm good. The Bible says no. Romans 3 says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. There is none righteous. And the fact is to get to God, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God is inviting you today. Come now. Let us reason again, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. God is long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. For he gave his only begotten son for you to put your faith with your heart to believe on Jesus Christ. With your mouth, confess that Jesus is able to save your soul. That you are able to get to God only by the finished work of Jesus. Jesus Christ. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. He did that all because God loves us. He did that all because we can't do anything to get saved. You can't, church is not going to save your soul. Being good is, because I already said, the Bible says there is none that doeth good. But the righteous works, the finished work of Jesus Christ. He's not a cuss. A man cuss the name of Jesus. Because in our hearts we know he's God. No one ever says Buddha D. No one ever cries out, oh the Pope, when we bash our fingers against uh, the wrench. But we cry out with God. We even cry out, go to hell. And yet we stand here to preach that you may not go to hell, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, to be saved. 